flow scrappers. Tonight I'm going to be scrapping this. This is like the motor off of like a dust buster kind of thing. It would have like a, you know, like a anteater kind of nose on it for sucking stuff up. You pick your dust thing off, you can dump your dirt out. And um, I'm sure this had a battery cover at one point. And I know, I remember this had that thing on it when my, when somebody gave it to me to scrap it. But this has been over in that other garage for like eight years or so, seven years or something like that. But uh, there's got to be copper in here and I got a battery I got to recycle too. Let's start getting these screws out. I'm not going to be able to get that one. Hmm. Oh, this one right here. Work smarter, not harder. Um, seven eighths. Grab this guy. And grab this guy. And oh, you grab this guy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What am I even grabbing that for? I got this thing right here. There! Now I got an extended screwdriver. How dumb is that? I think I'm getting them. Is there one in here? Oh my god, how comical is this? <laughs> it worked! Oh, that was so funny. And yeah, not too bad. Not too much work here. All that mechanism. That's for vibration dampening. That's just rubber. All the mechanism in there is all plastic. Not much to this thing. Oh, look at that. The circuit board's cooked. Look how discolored that is. The little MOSFET here failed. The transistor. Look at that. So that's a little piece of copper. A little piece of number two copper. This metal plate that's in the transistor. This is just like plastic on there. But that metal plate is copper. So take a little nip into it. See? That's copper. This will go right in your number two copper bucket. Turn the scale back on. Now I'm going to cut these batteries one wire at a time because I don't want to short them out. See if I cut both of them, I can, I can short. So we're going to cut one at a time. I got some batteries to recycle. This will go in my bucket in the other garage. Nickel cadmiums. See, recycled. Dispose of properly. Keep remember that. Batteries pollute. There's the charge port. I'm gonna throw that in a copper bearing bucket. Copper bearing circuit board. And a little copper bearing motor. Now, because this electric motor is so small, my scrapyard calls it. <laughs> I can get that screw out. Oh, it's all the way underneath the plastic. Get these screws out. This is hilarious. I think I should just put my my uh, bit back on. Now that I don't need that anymore. That was a good idea. I have to keep that in mind. Maybe I should keep my eye open for some longer, some longer, skinnier bits. Oh, 
How do I get those little screws out? It's always one way to do it. One more hit. And I lost my little motor. I see it way down there. No man left behind. The scale reset itself. Some copper bearing motor. And that was easy. And some number two insulated. Oh, there's brass. We got a little bit more brass in here. See if this will pull out. Number two insulated. Oh, there's the brass. That wasn't too bad, it didn't take too long. And that's it. Oh, some screws. Number two insulated. Let's see how we did. Half a pound. So we got about a half a pound. Almost all that weight was uh, copper bearing. Some copper bearing, some brass, some screws for the tin bucket, and some number two insulated. Yeah, some screws, a little piece of number two copper, and some brass. Here I was jingly. They make bells out of brass, remember? So. One good way to towel brass. So, that wasn't too bad. Just remember guys, uh, scrap is everywhere. All you gotta do is find it, sort it, and hoard it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.